Chris Davis. Yes. Speaker, the statement delivered by the Secretary of State this afternoon uh, will deliver a devastating blow to the people of Brecon. The town has been proud to host a barracks since 1805, and this country has been proud to receive from those barracks the servicemen and servicewomen that have defended this country. Today, as so always, there are a large number of military and civilian personnel, and they are very much of concern <coughs> as this decision has been announced. Within the barracks, there is a regimental museum, a museum that hosts the display celebrating and commemorating Rourke's Drift. Rourke's Drift, as we all know, was immortalised in the film Zulu. And within those barracks, within that regimental museum, there is the largest collection of Victoria Crosses in this country. Could I ask my right honourable friend two questions? One, and it was already touched on earlier, that the infantry battle school in both Daring Lines and in Sunnybridge will be unaffected by these cuts, and two, would he join me again, and I say again, in visiting the barracks to discuss what future role we can have? The Honourable Gentleman will know that my natural generosity has got the better of me. <laughs> <laughs> the Secretary of State. Well, let me confirm again that the Infantry Training Centre is not, um, is not uh, being uh, disposed of. He makes a very important point. Uh, about the barracks, that um, it contains the Museum of the Royal Welsh, indeed a museum I've, I've visited to see uh, the memorabilia associated with um, Private Hook, I think, and the others, and the Battle of Rourke's Drift. And the position there is that the museum is currently negotiating a long-term lease with the Ministry uh, in order to secure lottery funding for an extension. That lease isn't yet finalised, but it's likely to enable a to contain a clause that would enable the trustees to purchase the, fee, the freehold if and when the, the site is to be uh, disposed of. And I hope that would be helpful to my honourable friend, but I would be very happy to discuss all this further with him.